Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are gonna be jumping into another bedroom here at the Stone Cottage, specifically the folklore room. Now this bedroom is another bedroom upstairs and it is a bedroom that we did a few structural changes to. Basically the roof line upstairs is just funky. Builders, they just say, hey, looks good on the outside, let's just let them figure it out once they buy the house on the inside. But guess what, we figured it out and it looks really good and I cannot wait to show you guys before we go upstairs and before we reveal this room and learn a thing or two, I want you guys to hit the subscribe button if you haven't, thumbs up the video, and answer today's question of the video, which is, do you like Taylor Swift? Now that is controversial. The Swifties are gonna come for you if you don't. I am a huge Taylor Swift fan. I wouldn't call myself a Swiftie, only because I think that's like a very protected right, but I, I love Taylor Swift. And the wallpaper I picked up there, if you follow on Instagram, Let's just say it's in its folklore era. Do you like Taylor Swift? Do you not like Taylor Swift? Are you sick of hearing all the stuff about her concert? Are you just jealous that you didn't get to go to her concert? Tell me in the description or in the comments below. I'm dying to, to hear the tea. Okay, now let's go look at the room. Come on. Welcome to the Folklore Room. Now this room, again, like I said, it's upstairs. It has the roof line, it's kind of funky. This wall pops out. This one pops back. Now, when we first bought this house over here, this was a door to a closet right here. I think what we're gonna do is take out the door there, finish that out. There's a little closet behind there. I would love to utilize this hall closet from this way, if it's possible, to open into it. Close this off so we could do the bed here. I knew when I walked into this room, you guys know I always say when you walk into a space, you want the bed to be right there on the first wall you see, which would have been the wall behind you. However, because it had these weird pop-outs and it's not that deep of a room, it would have just felt weird. The whole bed wouldn't have fit. It would have been off asymmetrically to the side. So how do I get that symmetrical look? I go to the wall to the right. That one had a closet door. So I went ahead and had them close up the closet door. This is hollow. Well, that's hollow. But it didn't go all the way back because originally I was gonna open it up and just push the whole thing back. But unfortunately, it only went to about here. So I couldn't open up that wall and push it all back in. Over here is the old closet. It used to have an entrance from the hallway, but instead we're opening it up into the bedroom so we can put the closet on that side and put the bed on this wall without having a big door there to the closet in the way. Outside of this room, I had a hallway closet and it was as long as this wall. This used to not be open, this used to be closed. So we decided to shorten the closet access in the hallway so it became a linen closet. And then I opened access right here so I could have this nice little closet for this room that didn't interrupt my nice symmetrical layout of the bed. You guys know I love to make a nice wow statement behind the bed. I did not do wallpaper on every single wall in here, okay? I only did one wall and I wanted to show you guys the impact that only one wall can have on a space. It took a couple of hours it was way less expensive to do one wall versus all four, and it's so easy to use peel and stick. I really think that that's gonna make a, such a big impact in your spaces. I do think that this floral, it's kind of like a, a pencil sketch on this kind of purpley gray color wallpaper, and it just was very neutral, it was very calming, and but it still allowed this beautiful headboard. Can we just talk about this bed? You guys, this is from Article, okay? The caning detail mixed with the white oak I love it and I love that it kind of wraps around. It kind of gives you that 3D vibe. I just think everything about this bed is just so fantastic and so beautiful. And when you come down to the side tables, as you know, I always recommend you guys do two side tables on either side of your bed with some sort of light source. These are also from Article. These are very similar to the ones I have in the living room here downstairs. This is a wood top. The ones downstairs are glass. And then it still has that leather detail on the bottom, which I think looks really nice. My sconces, I did not put electrical on this wall. It just ended up being too much at the time. 
so I went without it, but I still wanted that look. So what did I do? Found myself a plug-in sconce, baby. You can slide it down and turn it off and then turn it back on. These are awesome. You do not need to have any sort of electrical box to install these. You literally just plug them in the wall. Yes, the cord hangs down, but that's kind of the vibe, you know? And I think it just looks so great. I absolutely love it. And I love that we were able to fit enough space because we closed in this wall to have that symmetrical look for this bed. That's always, always, always like the simple principle, the simple goal is you want a symmetrical bed wall when you walk in. I have this really cozy, chunky, knotted rug in this brown charcoal color. This is also from Article, and I really, really love it. It's very cozy. It's similar to the one that's in the bedroom downstairs. I always say put this type of a rug in a bedroom, not a living room, because when it's a lot of high traffic, it balls up really fast. A bedroom is perfect because you're not walking on it all day, and it's so cozy. When you get your feet out of bed, you just step onto it. It's very thick and plush, and it just looks cozy. I mean, the whole thing is like the vibe. It sets the vibe for the space. And I love that it's like a kind of a brownish gray color goes really well with my wallpaper. And you'll notice, look at the sheets. We went with this like cottagey, cozy, blue floral print sheet, which I think is so perfect. Just with simple white bedding, a couple of pillows, and I think it looks so beautiful in here. Okay, let me show you over here. I did add two shades. So similar to the other room upstairs, I didn't do any window treatment panels. I only did pull down shades. And that's because the window over on that side, I wouldn't be able to do a bar across. And I just thought it looked really nice in here just to keep it very simple. With these, they provide the privacy. You have the beautiful trees out front or out on the side of the house, which are really cozy and relaxing. And then over here, we have ourselves a little sitting area. Now, one thing we did on this side, the bathroom upstairs was tiny. It was like smaller than a phone booth. And they had a giant water heater upstairs, which is a no-no. You never want to put a water heater upstairs because it can leak and cause a ton of problems downstairs. So we took that out, but we also wanted to make the shower upstairs a little bit bigger than it was because it was just so small. If we pull this wall out a little bit, Maybe we would close it off to here and we can elongate the bathroom. I think that will be a huge improvement for the space. We're making another pop out, but we already have an awkward pop out. This is already the room of the pop outs, these two rooms. So let's extend the wall this way a little bit. That way we can create more room for the shower in the bathroom on the other side of the wall. The only downside to doing that is it did make my window space here and here not symmetrical. If you notice, I have a shorter wall space there and a larger wall space here. But there are times you have to make hard decisions in life and a larger shower was worth the sacrifice of sacrificing my symmetry on this side. So if you wanted to point that out that it's not symmetrical, I know. But if you take a shower here, you're gonna be so grateful because it's big. It's nice and big in there now. These chairs are absolutely like beyond. Like the quality, they're heavy, they're sturdy. They have this oak, white oak detail with a little bit of piping, like a light wood piping and this beautiful buttery soft cream linen. They're just kind of like concave. They, they're they round on the back. Really the back is where it shines and the side. They're just so beautiful, you guys. I absolutely love these chairs. They're cozy and comfortable. And I love in a guest room if you're able to provide, if you have the space. Like I had all this room over here. To put a, seat, a sitting area is just perfect because when people are getting ready, they wanna just go to their room and relax. This offers a great opportunity for someone to just do some work. They can take a call, they can relax and read a book. Nice and cozy, drink their coffee up here. Please don't spill. And also this cute little side table, which I love. I just think it's so adorable. This is also from Article. And then I have this cute little table under here. This is great to put if they have makeup, if they wanted to have, I don't know, any of their stuff, their jewelry. We also have a nice little gallery wall and of course, the mirror. Now this is not a full length mirror. However, if you do stay here, don't be worried. You can open this door and then go down the hall and then you can see your shoes. <laughs> or you could just lift them up like that. But I didn't really have a place to put a full length mirror, sorry. The other room has it, so make buddies with whoever's over there and you can check your outfit over on that side. Now we have our girl T-Swift over here. This is her folklore album. Don't you just think this wallpaper looks like folklore? That's why I did it. I was like, this is folklore vibes. I'm not, a, I'm not an honorary Swifty yet, but I'm on my way to be because I made a, <laughs> a folklore room. And you guys helped name this room, by the way. 
those of you on Instagram, I appreciate the input. But I think this room is very simple, right? It's, it's very clean, it's very classic. There's not a ton going on, but this is a perfect example of how to create a really cozy, really beautiful room by making a wow statement behind your bed, by utilizing the symmetry of the lamps, the bedside lamps or sconces and your side tables, and then utilizing art to create some sort of a gallery wall experience. If you have room for seating, let's say you have a smaller room, you don't have room for two big chairs, right? Just remember, you can always do a bench on the end of your bed. You could always do a little stool if you had that space. But trying to create that sort of atmosphere always looks really nice in a bedroom and makes it very cozy. And I will also remind you guys, if you are wanting to redo your bedrooms, we have a course, my mom and I have a course on kinwoven.com where you guys are able to access our Weekend Warrior Bedroom Edition. So if you're wanting any tips or kind of a walkthrough on all the details of how to transform your bedroom in just a weekend, we have a whole course for you guys where you guys can learn kind of our schedule and how we do it, the best like impact, the lowest amount of money. And we even have a few room designs you guys can pick from and we tell you exactly where to get what and how to create that exact room in your own home. So check that out if you're interested. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching today. I hope that you guys learned a few things from today's video and just had fun seeing the folklore room. This is a really sweet, special room. And I think it's awesome because not only do you have a lovely bed, but you have a lovely sitting area, which is kind of fun. Come back and check out the rest of the videos of the Stone Cottage. As you guys know, this is an Airbnb here in Tulsa that you guys, I've designed for you. So if you ever come to Tulsa, if you're driving through, if you're coming here to see the city, please be sure to book the Stone Cottage. I will link the booking link below. I would love for you to stay here and just get to see it in person and let me know what you think. And if you aren't ever able or I'm not really coming this way in Tulsa if you live in a different country or something check out the link anyway put it hard it put it on a, a list give it a thumbs up I don't know you, I guess you just hard it you don't give it a thumbs up but you guys can interact with it that way it does really well on Airbnb and more people are able to come here and stay we would love that we would love for them to see this beautiful home and get to experience our wonderful city I love you guys thank you so much for all of your support and for watching today's video and I hope that you're a Swifty. Let me know below. You know, don't forget. Love you all. I will see you in the next video next time. Bye-bye.